people want care close to home, uh, they want care that is joined up and they want us to also focus on well-being and not just ill health. It's a groundbreaking project and I feel that the project is right for a rural area. It's not planning for the here and now, it's planning for future generations. We're out there speaking to local communities and stakeholders to find out what matters to them and to help from the outset to set the model of care that we're developing based on the views of the local community. One of our principles has been what matters and that is important because what we're trying to achieve is services and support that make a difference to the individual. The biggest impact for us would be to provide all the services on one site. There'll be lots of room for people to park, there'll be, be a school there, there'll be all sorts of facilities. Partnership is the nature of this work. We're working with the local authority very closely across all the departments, and also with the third sector which have a critical role. Um, and we're starting to engage with the potential around the private sector and uh, also the key partners around the Regional Partnership Board and the Public Services Board. Rural health and social care as part of a broader uh, offer, if you like, um, really is quite attractive to practitioners. There's plenty of opportunities for professional development and practice development um, in the most beautiful parts of Wales, in a setting that nurtures practice and focuses on patients. If we were looking ahead in 10 years' time, we would not only have developed those sheer assets across the public sector, so excellent facilities that are fit for purpose for 21st century healthcare. People wouldn't be talking about joined up care anymore, they would just be talking about care, it wouldn't matter, they wouldn't be asking the questions about who's providing that, it would be so joined up they would just see it as one service.